I'm Dr. Vanita Rattan and this channel is dedicated to skincare for skin of colour. So today's video is all about drunk elephant. Is it suitable for skin of colour? There are some products that are and I would say go and purchase and others that I would say steer clear of. So I'm going to break down the top 10 most popular products from Drunk Elephant and I hope you find it helpful. Right, so let's start off with our first ingredient, oh sorry, our first product, which is TLC Sukari Baby Facial. This has 25% AHAs in it, 2% BHA, i.e. salicylic acid. And let's start off with the AHAs, 25% of glycolic acid, tartaric acid, citric acid, and lactic acid. The second ingredient of this product list is glycolic acid. Now glycolic acid is not great for skin of colour. It's one of the strongest AHAs because of the size of the molecule. The molecule is tiny, it flies through the skin and it can burn skin of colour leading to hot spots and I've seen this in my clinic when girls come in having used a glycolic acid on the skin and the skin is then pigmented. At that point you need professional help. For most people I'd say are going to be fine with glycolic acid but with skin of colour we can't really afford to do anything to our skin that's going to burn it and lead to pigmentation. So for that reason I would say steer clear of this particular product. In addition I, I really don't like the name Baby Facial, TLC Baby Facial makes it sound you know like nothing can go wrong and um, I just feel like it's a bit misleading so I don't like that either. In addition, the actual good ingredients, things like niacinamide, green tea extract, are all, all at a very low percentage, less than 2%, so aren't even in the therapeutic range. So basically for me, big fat no. So on a lighter note, I really like the second product, which is F-Balm Water Facial. So this is actually a very good product. It's full of humectants and antioxidants, which basically means it's going to plump the skin and also it's going to protect the skin from any environmental stresses. So that's great. It's also got some other very good ingredients. It's got niacinamide in it, which is very good for skin of colour because any inflammation that's happening on the skin, whether it's from acne or anything else, it soothes the skin, calms that inflammation down. It is also great for the texture of the skin. So for example, if you've got uh, open pores and large pores and you want to minimise them, uh, niacinamide is a fantastic ingredient for that too. It's also got ceramides in it. As we age, the natural ceramides in our skin become less and less effective. And that's what leads to the elasticity, part of the reason we have elastic skin. So it's great to replenish that. Now, if you want me to do a full video, by the way, on ceramides, a very overlooked ingredient that we really do want in our skincare routine, please can you write down yes, in the comment section below so I know to do a full video just on ceramides for you. Um, and the other ingredient that I really like is squalene. So this product's got squalene in it. Squalene is an NMF, a natural moisturizing factor, which basically means that it hydrates the skin as well. And it's really suitable for skin of color. I've never heard of anyone actually having any irritation with squalene. So this product I love. I would say wear this at nighttime on top of your active. So allow all the actives to go in first and then this is the hydration that you would put on top to seal it in to reduce your trans epidermal water loss throughout the night. Okay, so the next one is C Firma Day Serum. I have mixed feelings on this one. So I actually like the fact that it's a multi-antioxidant product because antioxidants work much better in combination. They synergistically boost each other. So this particular product's got C, E and ferulic acid in it. So that's the plus point. The downside I would say is the form of vitamin C in this product. It is L-ascorbic acid, which is very unstable and the product is not in an airless pump which means that a lot of the vitamin C can be oxidized before it's even touched your skin so that's not great. This product's also got peeling agents in it so enzyme peeling agents. It's got pumpkin ferment extract and it's got pomegranate extract. I would say be cautious with skin of colour. It's not a complete no-no but I would say just be careful 
Now on the directions, it actually tells you you can wear this in the morning and pop some block on top and go out, which really is a big no for skin of color. I would say if you want to wear this and you want to try it, first of all, try it behind your ear. Make sure that you're not getting any inflammation. And if you're not after 24 hours, then you can do it once a week maximum at night time. And then on top of that, once you've done that, wear your moisturizer. So although it says C Firma Day Serum, I would never wear this during the day. It is okay for once a week at night time. Okay, so moving on to A Passioni Retinol Cream. So this product I'm actually not a fan of. 1% retinol is a very high for skin of color. It's very irritating at this percentage and it can lead to more pigmentation because any inflammation in our skin can lead to more pigmentation. So with retinol, I always say be cautious and start low at about 0.2%. 1% I, pff, I'm not a fan of. Also, it's got the actual e active, so things like peptides, the extracts are all at below the 1% mark. So they're not even in the therapeutic range. So for $74, I would say this one is a no. Right, moving on to one that I actually really like, which is the C Tango Vitamin Multivitamin Eye Cream. So this is a great formulation and I definitely would recommend this one for skin of color. So it's got five different forms of vitamin C in stable forms. So that's quite rare actually to see in one product. I've seen it in a couple of products, but it doesn't often happen. So that's a huge plus point. In addition, the peptides are in the therapeutic range as well, which I love. And it's a multi-antioxidant, meaning they're synergistically working together and boosting each other. So this is actually a fantastic product. Uh, one little tip I would give you is pop it in the fridge before you use it because it is around the eye where applying it. So you get that soothing feeling that you you tend to need actually for this area, especially as we age because of puffiness and it helps to vasoconstrict as well. The next one is B Hydra Intensive Serum. So I actually quite like this formulation. It's got ceramides in it, it's got antioxidants in it and humectant. What I would say is this is fine for skin of color, but there's just nothing wow about it. There's nothing in it that's, that for me makes it worth the money. So, I mean, if you love it, great, carry on with it. Um, but I just think for the money, it's probably not worth it. But other than that, go ahead if you love it. Okay, and so for the number one product that I would say is in the Drunk Elephant range uh, that Hiram introduced me to. So Hiram Skincare is, um, is very good channel, actually. I would definitely tell you to go and follow him and watch his videos. He's very knowledgeable. And he introduced me to this particular product. So I delved in a little bit deeper into the ingredients. It's got nine peptides in it, which basically signal to the fibroblast in your skin to produce more collagen. This is actually quite a high concentration for a product in this price range. So that's a huge plus point. It also has soya bean folic acid ferment, which is great for the elasticity of your skin. It's also got acetyl glutamine, which is great for hyperpigmentation. So this product is very good for anti-aging, the issues that happen for your skin as you age for skin of color. Right, so if there's any other products you want me to review, please can you write it down below. I'm in on this roll right now where I've just done the ordinary, I've done Drunk Elephant, I have, which other ones have I done? I've done Inky, um, and if there are any other ones, please can you tell me which, you know, what to review for you? And I know in different countries, we all have different products. So me talking about the ordinary in England might not be the same thing that you would want in India. So if there's specific products that you find easy to get hold of in your country, please can you write that down below for me? Because I won't know until I you tell me and I can go and research for you. Don't forget to download my free ebook for Skin of Color because it basically tells you all the mistakes that people are making and it's just easy for you to read. So that's in the description box below. Um, and if you haven't subscribed and hit that notification bell by now, can you do it because you get weekly teaching. I'm trying to up it from two, week, two times a week to three times a week. Thank you very much for listening.